Welcome back to We Talk Boxing and today's video is about Joel Joyce and where does he go after his recent victory on the weekend against Christian Hammer. Now before we continue with this video please subscribe to my channel for more boxing content and reviews. Now I didn't do a pre or post fight review of the fight between Joyce and Hammer because I personally didn't feel as if it needed one because Hammer is more of a journeyman instead of a serious threat to up and coming fighters. Now Joyce had his 14th professional fight on the weekend and obviously he recorded another victory as well and this takes his record now to 14 wins with 13 KOs to his name. Now this performance was a weird one because Joyce got caught with more punches in this fight than he usually does by any other opponent really. And, you know what I mean, considering Hammer isn't really a big puncher, you know what I mean, like, this was a bit of a weird one for, for, for Joyce. Now, this performance was a weird one for Joyce, as he got caught with more punches than he's used to by any other opponent. And, again, by a, an opponent who potentially isn't a big puncher or isn't, isn't known to cause many upsets in his career. Now, Hammer caught Joyce with, you know what I mean, plenty of overhand rights on many occasions within the first three rounds before Joyce started to land his own big shots, which Hammer couldn't take in the end and obviously ended up getting stopped. Although, for me, this fight showed how durable Joyce can be, you know what I mean, and showed how determined and motivated and how much heart he has, you know what I mean, to continue going forward and applying pressure onto an opponent, you know what I mean, who in the end, you know what I mean, couldn't handle that pressure and ended up getting stopped, do you know what I mean? So to me, Joyce has got a lot of durability, you know what I mean, which is quite good because as he steps up against the better fighters in the division, he's gonna need that. You know what I mean? He's gonna he's gonna need that resilience to be able to continue in fights. Since the fight on the weekend, many people have been querying and asking for Joyce to potentially try and fight Deontay Wilder, and even promoter Frank Warren has said that he would love to make this fight. But for me, I don't see this fight happening for two reasons. One. For me, this is a big risk for a little reward for Joyce. And, you know what I mean, unless there's potentially multi-millions of pounds on the table, I don't see this fight coming off. And also, you know what I mean, Joyce is currently in a mandatory position for the WBO, meaning if he did take this fight and ended up losing, then he loses his mandatory position. However... If Joyce does win, you know what I mean, and he wins well against potentially Deontay Wilder, this could potentially entice, you know what I mean, entice and Fury to potentially come out of retirement and fight Joyce. Um, and, you know what I mean, and, you know what I mean, Joyce could potentially use the thing to say that, you know what I mean, I beat, you know what I mean, I'm the second man to beat, beat Wilder, second British man, you know what I mean, and try and use that as kind of maybe his go-to, his saying or whichever, to try and entice Fury to come out and fight him in a big stadium fight as well. And the second reason why I don't think this fight between Wilder and Joyce could be made is because I think Wilder's team, you know what I mean, uh, will potentially consider this too much of a tough fight for Deontay's first fight back, and they will potentially look for more of an easier opponent, you know what I mean, to kind of relax, chillax, you know what I mean, Deontay back into into the swing of things. And so I feel as if they may look to maybe one of the lesser names in the WBC potentially rankings because obviously Shelley Finkel has got a good relationship with the WBC, so they may consider maybe you know, being opponents between 10 to 15 in that top 15 ranking to try and fight one of those guys who they think isn't going to cause Deontay too much of an upset. So what are Joyce's options if he can't get the Wilder fight? Well, there's some good opponents in the heavyweight division, such as Otto Wilding, you know what I mean? Obviously, he's currently 24 wins with one loss to his name, and obviously that loss came to Tyson Fury. Wilding has only shared the ring with a couple of notable names, such as Brazil and obviously, as I mentioned, Tyson Fury. So that could potentially be a good fight for him. There's also Martin Piccoli as well, who is currently 18-1. and 
Um, you know what I mean? And he hasn't really shared the ring with too many, too many big names. But the names that he has been in with, uh, such as Marius Wack, Michael Hunter, Kevin Johnson, and obviously the guy that he recently beat, Tony Yoka as well. So again, that could potentially be a good little matchup for for Joyce. There's also other people, you know what I mean, that he could fight, such as Den Den I can't say it, Dempsey McCain, uh, who's an Australian boxer with a 21 and 0 record. And on his record, there's no notable names on that record. So that might be a slightly easier one, do you know what I mean, uh, to try and take. You know what I mean? He's four against 21 opponents, but no big names in there, really. So he's kind of, un you know I mean, we're kind of unable to kind of see how good McKean is without him being challenged and tested. There's also Zilli Zhang as well, who is 24-0 no, with one, one draw to his name as well. Um, you know what I mean? This guy was recently meant to fight, but obviously his fight got cancelled. So I'm not sure where his obligations lie. But again, if the fight could be made with Zhang, then again, that's a good fight. Um, Zhang is a big, big, big heavyweight. You know what I mean? He's quite tall as well. So that might, you know what I mean, be a good fight. And if he could potentially win that, you know what I mean? The physicality side of it could be good if he does end up trying to get a Tosa Fiori matchup in the future. There's other fighters such as Jermaine Franklin as well. Um, he's got a good record, you know what I mean, 20-0. Um, he hasn't shared the ring with any notable boxers. But again, we don't know until he's tested and he's been in there with someone like a Joyce. Uh, there's also Charles Martin, and we all know about Charles Martin. He's been around. He's fought against some good opposition. And, you know what I mean, he's, he's, he's lost quite a few as well. And he's, he's, Charles, Charles is, you know what I mean, he's... His performances are either up or down, you know what I mean? They're never consistent, really. But his record lies at 28-3-1. and, three and one. Um, So, again, there's, there's, there's that fight there as well. And potentially, Robert Hellenius. Again, we Hellenius has got a good record, you know what I mean? 31-3. and three. And, again, he's fought against, you know what I mean, some good fighters as well, such as White and Chisora. Um, so, again, that's a, another fight which I think that, you know what I mean, Styles make fights and... Against Joyce, you know what I mean? That would be a good, durable fight to fight against. Now, the question is, what fight do I think is next for Joyce? Now, obviously, a natural fight would be to try and make the Parker fight, which was supposedly meant to, to take place before, obviously, Parker recently signed with the boxer. Then, obviously, that fight got scrapped and, it, you know what I mean, got taken off the table. Um, there's obviously, there's a bit of back and forth against you know what I mean, again, with their promoters and the fighters saying, you know what I mean, that, you know what I mean, the boxer team, they want the fight. But obviously, Frank Warren, because of what happened, you know what I mean, is, you know what I mean, he's, he's not happy um, and doesn't really want to make the fight. But for me, do you know what I mean? I, you know what I mean? I think that fight could potentially be the next fight for, for Joyce. I think Frank would potentially have to just bite down on his gum shield and just, you know what I mean, suck it up and just deal with the boxer team and, you know what I mean, they may even ask for more money, you know what I mean, from the boxer team, um, which, again, is a good thing for Joyce. But I think for, for Frank, you know what I mean, like, having been messed about, um, I think, it, it, like I said, he'd probably just have to suck it up a little bit and just, you know what I mean, bite down on his gum shield and just take one for the team and make this fight for Joyce because it's a natural fight. You know what I mean, they both were going to fight. They both were quite highly ranked. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And again, that fight would have been, you know what I mean, a Mando as well. You know what I mean? So potentially, who knows as well. But there's another fight which people have been considering as well for Joyce. And that is the Dillian White fight. Um, I think this is a good fight. Good, you know what I mean? Good, good, good clash of styles. Um, obviously, um, jo Joyce is probably a little bit more of a better boxer than White, whereas White obviously is more of a, a close range boxer. He's, you know what I mean? He carries power. He's got good body shots. But as we've seen recently in the last fight for Joyce, you know what I mean? He is he, quite durable. He's got that resilience about him. So you know what I mean? He will, you know what I mean? Could potentially take some punishment and again dish out some punishment to White. So I think that'd be a very good British dust up fight there. And I'd like to see that fight, you know what I mean, be made. But I think for me. The Parker fight will more likely happen. And the White fight, maybe, you know what I mean, a couple of fights down the line because it, it, it just depends on what the White team um, are going to, you know what I mean, are going to do really. Obviously, 
they've lost their man up position now. Um, the, you know what I mean, the further down in the rankings. So he has to, again, fight against some fairly credible opponents, Dillian White, to try and get back up in the rankings and to try and um, be, get another mandatory spot. And for me, I feel as if, for White, he would have to do that in a different organisation because the WBC obviously messed him about for years. So if I was him, you know what I mean, I'd be, be looking for WBA, maybe WBO, um, to try and fight against a load of their fighters to be can, to potentially become number one and then Mando in that. And at least that way, he would get another title shot a lot sooner as well. Anyway, guys, please let me know your thoughts about, you know what I mean, Joyce, and who do you think he should fight next? And who would you like him to, to, to match up against in the near future? Um, but anyway, please subscribe, like, comment and share. And stay tuned for more boxing-related content. Bless. Bless.